This is Queen Street in Newton Abbott, which to the envy of many towns around the country has secured future high street funding and it will be used to enhance the area. That could mean wider pavements, trees, lots of things to make it a nicer experience. The thing is though, it will mean a restriction on traffic access and fewer parking spaces and the local traders are horrified and they fear it's being implemented against their will. Traders and councillors from the South Devon Alliance have been campaigning to bring the plans to a halt. I'm just shocked really how much it's going to impact us as a company really um, and other companies and um, businesses around here. The idea that with an ageing population that closing the key pop and shop uh, shopping street in Newton Abbott, the idea that that will be good for the businesses of Newton Abbott is a complete anathema. Marcel Massey runs a printing shop and is worried the traffic restrictions will put people off from coming here. The big concern is that people are going to see the signs at the end of the road and not come into Newton Abbott. The, so many shopkeepers in the town rely on traffic. This Queen Street is, works fine. We've got fewer empty shops than any other town, towns or villages around the area. And they're just going to stop coming in. I rely on people pulling up outside to me. I mean, I'm lucky I have a loading bay. And as I said to you earlier, there are boxes of cups that have come in from various places. They need to be able to drop them off outside. We believe that reducing the car parking is going to have a serious knock-on effect with significant consequences to the whole of Newton Abbott, not just Queen Street, but Courtney Street and the other surrounding streets. Newton Abbott has a thousand car parking spaces around the town centre, so the district and county councils are confident they can make this work. What I'm picking up on the doorsteps is people want these improvements. And I think if we can get more people into town, get more visitors coming to town, making that lovely place that it will be, we'll get more people in the shops. They will benefit. Work is due to start on the scheme next summer. Well, I'm joined by Councillor Martin Wrigley, who's the leader of Teambridge Council, why do you think this scheme is going to enhance the area when a lot of traders are telling, telling us that it could be damaging to their business? Well, they're worried. Of course they're worried. Change is difficult and it's a hard time in retail at the moment and they have all my sympathy. But this is about making Queen Street fit for the future. There'll be more pedestrian access, wider pavements, more greenery, more seating, a much more pleasant place to be. Right now it's chock-a-block with cars. You can't move. You get somebody coming along, and you can't go past them, you end up walking in the road, you put your life in your hands. It's no good. The f new Queen Street will be more pedestrian friendly, you'll still be able to take a taxi up here, there'll still be buses, you'll still be able to deliver to the shops, you'll still be able to have disabled parking up here. That's all still going to be there. It's just going to be a much nicer area. I think this will, once it's done, and once people are used to it, increase footfall and that's the whole aim. They are saying you're forcing it upon them though and that they don't really agree with it. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Well, this has been in the plans for a long, long time um, and it's always difficult when something is planned for such a long time, people forget. It has come up through COVID. It's been difficult to actually communicate with people face to face during all that time. People have got more used to doing more things online. Councils are doing more things online because they're cash strapped. So all of that makes it much harder to actually have good consultations, but they have been there. Martin, thank you very much. Well, of course, as I say, there are some objections to this. There's a full council meeting next week where some of it is going to be raised.